okay, so um, talking uh, talking about references, um, what I want to hear whenever I play this um, to keep control of what I'm doing while it's happening, I usually focus on, for example, my kick strokes. So I always keep my double kick strokes in mind and I, I always, whenever I feel like I'm losing control, go back and check that those strokes because it's my one and two. Um, so it's easier for me to think of the one just um, by listening to the kick instead of focusing on the entire thing and not really having any reference. So as we know, the less thing we think about, the less things we think about, the easier it is to um, keep control of what's happening. So whenever I have hard times or I'm in a situation where I'm losing control, I go and put my concentration in. On top of this, what I want to hear, it's my accent. I don't think of any other part, any other um, stroke that I'm playing rather than the accent. So for example, if I want to play the second 16 notes, what I will hear and what we'll concentrate on, it's going to be... Then everything else is just gonna be like around this. I'm not gonna think about this. It's just gonna be kind of like an automation or automatic or unconscious to um, my brain and, and my, my thoughts and what I'm listening to. So uh, again, yeah, what I, what I'm going to focus on is going to be and then what, whatever accent I'm going playing, I'm going to play on top of this. So And then my left foot is just going to work as a consequence of my right foot. becomes easier to improvise and, and you know play on top of it because I always gonna play un, un, around that idea that I'm having so once you have this this was just an example with triplet notes you can then do this with whatever you know whatever thing you want to uh, work on okay so let's try and see an entire cycle of the alphabet on top of this um, double stroke solution <laughs> 